Hey Glee fans, it's me again. Um, so I'm back from seeing Les Mis. It was wonderful. My sister sobbed. I cried. I posted pictures of my fa my sister's face after she had cried on the internet. She actually liked the picture on Facebook, so yay for that. But um, I'm going to try to watch this. I might end up having to cut this short because there's still... I don't know how much longer left. I think I'm midway through, but I'm getting tired. But I wanted to finish this off and post it for you guys before tomorrow. Um, it's kind of 11.22 p.m. at night, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to post it and get this done with. And then tomorrow I'll try to do two or three, uh, two or three episodes if I can handle it. Let's see. But um, ready? Let's get ready to go. As we left it on part three, because we're on part two now. I mean part four now. See, this is where my brain's already at. Um, we are now in the teacher's lab. Coach Tanaka is the only one trained to work the shredding, paper shredding machine. And Will is about to post the ask, the uh, notice for chaperones. And Emma is eating her food while Ken Tanaka stares at her. But let's see where it goes from here. I'm so tired. Okay. Ready, aim, and fire. <laughs> Will ha Will has an apple in his mouth. Does that mean anything? To so pick the slaughter? <laughs> Another pen. A little bite mark over. <laughs> Talk. God, Mark Salling, you look so young right there, and a lot like the guy who's playing Jake now. What's going on? Oh, I had to slap this guy this Saturday afternoon. It's uh, my mom. I gotta help Yeah, and Corey looks really young there, too. Interestingly enough, after they both started acting, uh, beefing up, they looked less young. Yeah, it's a fucking gorgeous. You think this is hard? I'm living with hepatitis. That's hard. You think she really has hepatitis or is she lying? Okay, look. Finn's got a great voice. He, he just wants to express himself. You're screwing up my life. Okay, Ken, you hate football. What's this really about? The football coach who hates football. Hey, Eminem. So, I got tickets to Monster Trucks this weekend. Loads tickets. Thank you, my thing. Truckzilla versus Truckasaurus. And get this, the trucks breathe fire. Can the camera every time you ask me how I tell you that I'm a period? It doesn't bother me. Or I tell you I'm suffering from cluster headaches or I'm allergic to nighttime. <laughs> the things? Not really true. I'm just not interested in dating him. Creepy. I will get you in my hatchback. Okay, keep oh. on. You don't make me say it. I like somebody else. All right? Nothing I can do about it because they're unavailable, so I have to deal with that. But... Oh! You're right. I'm overreacting. The herd I care about. The herd is too muddy. Well, the second someone tries to rise above and different, the herd pulls them back in. Oh, and by the way, thanks for putting a good word in for me with Emma, buddy. I guess you just want it for yourself, huh? Okay, two things. Coach Tanaka is advocating the herd mentality, which, yeah, how, no matter debating how long he was in charge of the football team, notice the football team got better after Coach Beast came along, and she broke that herd mentality a little bit. A little bit. It took some work for her to do that. And also that Coach Tanaka is the one who put the idea of Emma into Will's head. No. Sorry, my studying young arm, she knew that I've read four's cut homo. Who? You didn't know they were dating? The president of the Celtic Club? <laughs> Dear God, that skirt is short. I'm so glad they changed the cheerleader uniform because that was just extremely short. Let's pray. Quinn, I have, I have <laughs> sex thought. Mayor. Cool. Mm, they have Sour Patch Kids. 
Now. Those kielbasas look like they've been in a while. Hold on a second. Is that on a PB and J? That sounds perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. There was a part of this where I swear to God I saw Kurt walking in the background. Baby. Yeah, my wife's allergic to nuts. Oh. Let your tree sweep down. Let me go back a little. Right here. Back to Coach Tanaka, sadly, but I want to see. I swear to God, Kurt. I know Kurt's supposed to be in this. Kurt's there at the event, so I swear there's a bit of the scene where he's walking behind the Mercedes. Someone needs to inform me. Has anyone done any me meta about whether or not um, any of these guys were friends before? You're very talented. Glee Club. Yeah. I mean. Did, oh, there's know, Kurt in the very, very back. Okay, he's with Mercedes. And there they go. He's judging everyone. He's arm top. Now we need a stun on No. I need to look at what Anshu knew means. I already watched him, but I'm glad I picked him. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So, Will, you have a leather jacket. Was that your rebellious phase? Really Baby. Yeah, my wife's allergic to nuts. Oh. Mm. Let's really sweep, though. Not eating something because she can't. Oh. Jeez. Ooh, that's really nice. Is that cream? Oh, my gosh. How long? Mm. How long have you two been married? Mm, five years last March. Really? Yeah. Mm. But we've been together since high school. She was my first girlfriend, actually. Was it like... Never escaped that, Will. <laughs> For me, it was. I don't know. She used to be filled with so much joy. The world killed Terry yeah. Fisher. No, showtime. <laughs> you don't want to hear about the marital problems. Can someone write me a fit where the Dalton Warblers are at this event too, just to watch? Not happy that you have marital problems, but people talk to me a lot. There's a thing. Terry rides me hard, and I've always appreciated it. Rides me hard. She wants me to yeah, be baby. better. Lately, though, I keep asking myself, better than what? Making money, being upwardly mobile. Mm -hmm. Upwardly mobile. <sighs> I, I love her. Don't get me wrong. But we just gotta get back on the same page. You like the same age? Oh my god, it's like the best I've ever had. Hey guys, so this is supposed to be our competition. Okay, right? hold on. I honestly don't think they've got the talent that we've got. So let's be a good So, idea. hold on. Let's see the order we got here. We have Mr. Schuster, Miss Pillsbury, Rachel Berry, then Finn Hudson. Mercedes Jones, Kurt Hummel, Tina, and Artie. Which basically is couple, couple, not couple, but for a while Mercedes hoped for couple. Also, we have adults, four seniors, I mean, four uh, sophomores, two freshmen. That's cool. <laughs> uh, I wonder if there's something else I could say for the seating arrangement here. Kurt's almost as far away from Rachel as he can possibly get. Two people in between. Finn's in between Rachel and the others, so that could be because Rachel chose to sit next to the adults to make herself feel superior, or because Rachel chose to sit away from the other kids because they don't like her as much. Once again, someone please tell me that they have some ideas over who know who before this Glee Club even started. Did Mercedes and Kurt hang out? Did Mercedes and Tina? Did they have classes together? Did any of them have any other friends? No, we're not counting Finn because we know he has friends. And he's football and all that other stuff. But I want to figure out, did any of them were friends before or had other friends? Like maybe Kurt used to be friends with Brett. Stoner Brett, but you know, Brett became a stoner and high school. <laughs> but any ideas about that, people? Any at all? Alright, I'm about to hit 10 minutes here. I'm sorry I'm taking so long. I'm very tired and pausing when I want to say something instead of talking over it as much as I usually do. But um, we're going to pause this one, which is number four, and then we're going to go to number five. And continue from there, and then I'm going to pass out. Possibly do number six as well. Hopefully not number seven, but let's see how it goes. Blah-dee-blah-dee-blah-dee-blah, blah-blah-blah-blah. 
end of part four, part three, I mean, part five coming up. Ah!